Hello and welcome to the Electric Highway. Now in these short videos I'm going to describe how you use the Electric Highway charging network that's in motorway services all over the country. But before you start there are a couple of things that you need to be able to access this service. The first one is of course the card. Now this is the Electric Highway card. You can apply for this online, you get it for free, they'll send it to your house and you use that card to access the chargers. The other thing you need to do is have a quick look at the map which is online and that tells you where the chargers are located, what sort of chargers they are and whether they're online or not. That's very useful. And thirdly, and probably most importantly, the thing you need is an electric car. This is the Nissan LEAF, a 100% electric car that uses the DC Chademo charger. You choose that option by pressing the button where it says DC. Put your card on the reader and then follow the instructions. The DC Chademo input is the one on the left hand side in this picture. You gently insert the charge plug into the socket and pull the lever. Push it in and pull the lever. Then you press the green tick button. The charger communicates with the car and very soon it starts charging. The car we were charging had only travelled 30 miles, so it didn't really need a charge. When you want to leave, you press the stop charging button, show your card and the charger stops. To release the plug, press the top button with your thumb and slide back the catch at the bottom. Then replace the plug in the charger unit. But not like that. If it rains, the plug fills with water, which is not good. The plug needs to go in its cradle, which protects it from the elements. The hook is for the cable hanger to keep everything tidy for the next user. The older model Chadamo connectors are being replaced with newer ones that are so much easier to use. Remember to use your card to stop the charge before you remove it. That's done by pressing the yellow button on the connector. Other cars that use the DC Chadamo system are the Mitsubishi iMeV, the Outlander plug-in hybrid, the Peugeot Ion, the Kia Soul and the Citroen C0. Electric car charging etiquette. It's really very basic and it's a whole new lot of manners and behaviour that we've got to learn. Now, number one, which is really pretty basic, is don't park a petrol or diesel car in an electric car charging bay. That's really not good etiquette. Number two, if someone else is charging, don't unplug their car and plug yours in. Wait until their car has finished charging and then even if they're not around it's perfectly acceptable and polite to gently unplug their car and plug yours in. You'll be able to tell if their car is charged by the screen. It will say charging finished. So then you can charge your car. The charger won't be locked into their car, it will unlock when it's finished charging. So there's no damage caused, it's not offensive to do it. People have done it to me and I haven't got upset. Number three is if you can help someone who's having trouble plugging their car in and you're here, then do help them. Be generous. Show them how it's done, explain how the system works. Number four is if you see that the charger has got damage, if it's been vandalised, if something's broken, then give Ecotricity a call. Their number's on the side here. They're open in normal office hours during the week and explain to them what's happened to the charger. Because even though they can tell what's going on with these chargers, they can't physically see it from their offices. So if you ring them and explain, then they can get an engineer out really quickly and get the thing fixed. And finally, let's try and be mature about this. Let's behave responsibly and set a good example. Now, occasionally there are issues with either the chargers or in particular with the cars and the fact that they need to talk to each other through quite complicated electronics and occasionally, not a lot, but occasionally it does go a bit wrong. So just be patient. Try and understand that this is developing technology. It's developing very rapidly. Even a couple of years ago, these weren't as reliable as they are now. They are improving, but it is a bit of a step-by-step -step struggle. So we all need to help each other to make this system work because it is remarkable. Every month now Ecotricity is supplying over a million miles of electricity for electric vehicles and soon it'll be tens of millions. It's extraordinary what's happened in such a short time. So let's stick together, work together, try and make it better.